Are you a small business owner who feels a sense of imposter syndrome or vulnerability when it comes to marketing your business? If so, no worries, it's completely normal. After all, you are trying new things that may or may not get you the results you're looking for, and you may also be opening yourself up to potential criticism. All of these things can cause you to hold back with your marketing and not be so visible online. However, it is completely possible for you to overcome these feelings and to think like a marketer, even if you don't have formal training in the field. And that's what we're talking about today. So stick around to get tips to do just that. Imposter syndrome can cripple your confidence. It can cause you to compare yourself to others and create a sense of overwhelm when it comes to approaching your marketing. So the first step to think like a marketer is to look objectively at your skills, knowledge, and experience, because most of the time, those of us who feel imposter syndrome are the most talented and capable people, but for some reason, we're shortchanging ourselves. An article by Forbes magazine defined imposter syndrome, and I think they really nailed it. It says, imposter syndrome is the feeling of being a complete fraud in your field. All of your achievements are by luck and not hard work or trial and error. And worse, you feel like you don't deserve anything you've achieved. Wow, that's heavy. If this sounds familiar, then get out a pen and paper, sit in a quiet room and take notes on all of your accomplishments, unique skills, the outcomes you've produced for yourself and for others, and then infuse that into your marketing on your website and on social media to make it very clear what makes you unique in the marketplace and what outcomes you can provide for your customer base. My next tip is to take action. Don't let the fear of failure stop you from moving forward. Take actionable steps every day or on specific days of the week to market your business and move your business forward. If you want inspiration and strategies to do just that, then I recommend watching my video, Three Daily Habits for Business Growth, as well as how to plan your perfect work week so you can stay consistent. I'm going to add links to the description box below so you can access those videos and you may also see a card on the screen somewhere. The next tip to overcome your imposter syndrome and think like a marketer is to experiment and have fun with your marketing. I want you to know it's okay to make mistakes when it comes to marketing, and that's because it's all about testing and figuring out what works. So try different types of content that you're interested in. For example, blogging or video, reels, carousel posts. Try out different social media platforms and see where your audience is and what they are responding to. Be sure that you're taking notes on your marketing efforts so you can see what's working and what's not and make adjustments so that you can continue moving forward with marketing that is more effective for you. Our next tip is for you to keep learning by tuning into videos just like this and reading articles on marketing that's going to help you to, number one, get the tips that you need for continued growth, and number two, give you the inspiration to continue taking positive action toward your business goals. On that note, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel because I post a new video just like this every Thursday to help you develop your most authentic magnetic message and stand out online with magnetic marketing strategies. Be sure to hit the bell icon so you're notified when new content like this goes live every week. Now, hopefully this video has shown you that marketing does not have to be intimidating if you approach it with the right mindset. All you need to know is what makes you different in the marketplace, have a set of actionable goals to take, and test what works along the way. If you do all of this, you can be an effective marketer for your business. If you're ready to upgrade your marketing and get your business to the next level of success with expert help, support, and guidance, then book a call with me at the link below this video. Now, last but not least, I just want to leave you with this idea. It's that imposter syndrome does not have to hold you back or define you. You can start to take decisive action toward your business goals today by investing in yourself and giving yourself the permission to know that it's okay to figure it out along the way. 
Now, I hope this has been helpful to you. And if so, please give this video a like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you right here next Thursday with a brand new video.